Greetings from Snake Mountain Boat Works on Monday, June 3rd, 2019. It's flipping time, and this time the flippy will be the 1951 18-foot Penyan Stern Drive Transport. We'll get her up. At the risk of jinxing us, this should be pretty straightforward because this boat, this hull is so what light that we can pick it up by hand. So we'll back her up here just a little bit so we can get a fuller view. So 
let's see what we've got. Yes. I think we have. Huh? I see daylight. These traditional pinion construction, wide planks out to wide planks out to here, and then the narrow strip type planks take over to the full length splash rail. What's really intrigued us, and we will be investigating is that she has a copper a copper keel, keel which may or may not be original I think we've got to replace the wooden component of it beneath it but this is actually if, if you look at this the way this is formed Virgin this is actually Original and it's meant to yeah. sit right there. So we'll have a cup up up forward, it looks like it's really sound. Right in here, I think we're gonna have a we'll have a section we must deal with. Huh. She has a most interesting boot stripe. Well, now that we have her flipped over and we saw that she has this very unusual, I almost think it is bronze, this tent shaped heel cap must weigh 30 pounds. So, any ideas that anybody has as to what it's made of? Uh, it kind of looks like brass in a way. It's been filled with, looks like uh, a brass weld all the way down the channel. And beneath it, because I'll have to say my guys were a little skeptical when they saw this cap, I said, no way. This is, this is somebody's backyard under the apple tree idea of a fix, but no. Once you have it off and look at the the wooden component of her keel, uh, we get this sawtooth shape. Well, every one of these is a fastener that runs all the way through to the keelson on the other side. Uh, it looks like it's a great shape. Somebody who wanted to just get by would just leave it there, strip it, maybe seal it with a little CPES, uh, put some primer and bottom paint on it and say, there, that's good. We will release it. We will release the entire piece. We do have a short section towards the aft end that will require some of the Dutchman capability that we learned from John LaFountain. Uh, there's just, it's, it's interesting, I, as far as I can tell, there's a, there's a little downward bend right in this area, and it looks like this thing got whacked right about where, <clears throat> there you can see it, I lay it on its, on its side. So we will, we will do a Dutchman repair right in here. We will release every one of these fasteners. And, uh, but first, we have a new fellow joining the crew tomorrow. And there's no better way to introduce uh, a fellow like Anthony to the wonders of wooden boat preservation than handing him a gallon of circa 1850s heavy body paint and varnish stripper and a pair of gloves and some scrapers 
and a chip brush or two and say, welcome to Snake Mountain Boat Works, Anthony. Go stripping. And we expect by the end of the day tomorrow he has this entire bottom cleaned off as his baptism to uh, an entirely new experience for him. Great kid who's got lots of precise precision work experience. He's a gearhead, so he'll pick up that component of what John brought to the table, uh, wiring, building engines, tuning, troubleshooting, and that sort of thing. So with that, we'll end this update on the 1951 18-foot Penyan transport. Thank you so much. Bye-bye for now from Snake Mountain Boatworks.